Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X5. In the last one we took out some more Mavericks getting some parts for the space shuttle in the process. And now we're heading after our last Maverick. And we're going after this one as Falcon X. And gee, this one's pretty obvious. Next uh, Maverick is named Axel the Red. He's a Rose. Hmm. Either way, he's known as Spike Rose Red in Japan. The secret Reploid Forces facility that is hidden deep in the jungle has become infested with Mavericks. I bet, I bet if you go a little deeper into the jungle from there, you'll find the Orbiter engine. Either way, uh, seriously though, uh, Axel the Red is named after Axel Rose, the lead singer of Guns N' Roses. And if you actually look carefully, uh, in the background of the stage, there's actually a lot of guns. <laughs> You can grab the vines with your wire hook. Use the vines and climb up. And there's those V-blocks again that we need the Gaia armor to break. And those are spikes in my face. But yeah, you can climb onto these vines with the vine with the hook, but the Falcon Armor X can just ignore that. I love the Falcon Armor in X5. It's not my favorite armor in the series. It's probably one of the most broken, all things considered. But honestly, my favorite armor in the X series is between Ultimate Armor, obviously, and the... Which one was that that I really liked in X-A? Was it the Hermes or the Icarus? I think it was the red one. I forget which one that is. It's been a while since I last played X-A, actually. Probably since sophomore year, so it's it's been a while. Climb down there, but watch out for that big hole below you. So yeah, she's just warning of a pit below you. But as long as you hold the wall, you should hug the wall, you should be fine. But yeah, Falcon Armor X also speeds this section up quite a bit. Mind you, you can also dash while you're on grab hooks, but it's it, it, I, I don't like doing that. Either way, head up here, and there's our final Dr. Light capsule. I'll give you another program for your armor. This arm is an armor prototype that I created a long, long time ago. I named it Gaia Armor. Gaia Armor specializes in defense ability. It is very heavy, and lacks mobility. You won't be able to use weapons. Still, it'll be very useful because you'll be able to walk on damaged terrain. With this armor equipped, you'll be able to reach places that you have never been able to before. Use your armor wisely. But yeah, if I were to kind of summarize all the armors now that we have all of them, uh, the fourth armor is very much attack focused. Uh, Gaia armor is very defense, and Falcon armor is mobility. Mind you, the guy armor also has extreme damage output, but we'll, I'll show that off when I actually end up using the thing later in this part. Mind you, we're only seeing the guy armor this part because honestly, it is not that good compared to the Falcon armor or Fourth armor. In fact, I'd say it's the worst armor in the game, really. If not, one, well, not the worst in the series. The worst in the series probably goes to hmm, probably one of the ones in X6 or X7. Well, hi there. What do you want with me? Nothing. I just want the orbiter engine. Are you a thief or something? You can't just take what you want that easily. Go home, kid. Otherwise, I'll call the Maverick Hunter. Do as you wish. Now, tell me where the engine is. I told you, you can't get it so easily. You'll have to fight me for it. If that's the easiest way to get it, so be it. Hey, you better watch your mouth. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Let the battle begin. Well, you're just kind of a dick. Either way, being the plant enemy, he is weak to Matrex's fire beam weapon. Ground fire, that's its good name. Oh yeah, we have a giga attack for the falcon armor and so is the Gaia armor. Uh, falcon armor just kind of does this. Not useful. Uh, Gaia armor has this kind of weird... Uh, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, that one Chun-Li move from Street Fighter. Either way, he is subject to Mega Man X3 Syndrome. You hit him with his weakness, he goes from left to right. Uh, actually, I suppose this is both Mega Man 7 and X3 Syndrome. But he is very easy with his weakness. You should not lose to him. Uh, he does summon clones, and he will still get attacks off even when you're hitting him with his weakness because he can get some off really quickly. Uh, specifically during right now, he'll almost always get a... Almost always. He usually throws out his vines at you, and his vines can drain away your HP. I think that adds back to his. Not a very hard boss, but... He can be troublesome. I've taken him out first before, so he's a very e so he's a very possible first attack or first maverick. But there are easier ones you can go after. 
Either way, that gives us all four shuttle pieces. But it also gives us the last weapon. We get, I think it's called the Spike Ball for X, which he pretty much so shoots out that little Spike Ball that he used during the fight. And it'll come back to us eventually. And Zero, I forget what he gets, actually. Uh, Twin Dream. Okay, it's, he summons a clone of himself that looks very similar to Soul Body from X4. The Sigma Virus even destroys nature. There's nothing in nature now which is completely free from mechanical devices. We found the booster. It's out in the jungle. Another hunter will pick, be there to pick, soon to pick it up. Your mission is complete. Return to the base. Alright, let's see what happens with the shuttle. We've completed the space shuttle. It's ready to launch at any time, still. The problem is, who will maneuver it? It's awkward having this kind of problem at the very end. Everything else is taken care of. The shuttle is ready. Let me know when you dealt with, once you dealt with the pilot issue. The space shuttle standby. I trust you, Zero. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you. Don't mention it. This is my mission. <laughs> I'm the only pilot left, you know. Zero. I'll do it instead of you. X, you should stay here. Who wants to protect the Earth? Don't talk as if you're not coming back. I'm sure I'll be back. I won't die on such an easy mission. When I become a maverick, I think that's when I'll have died. Okay, Zero. I'll be waiting for you. You better come back alive. It's about time, Zero. Okay, I'm ready. Ready, Zero. This is our last chance. Blast off. Zero, be sure to come back safely. Zero, Zero, Zero. Why are you chanting his name like that? This is not an anime. Zero, the colony is approaching. Go. I'm sure it will work this time. Zero will make it out and get make it and get out okay. Locking onto the space colony. I'll get as close as, to it as possible. Then I'll abandon the shuttle. I saw lots of debris from the colony around here. I'll have to pile up the shuttle around the debris. Otherwise, the shuttle will be destroyed before it crashes into the Eurasia colony. Zero, I believe you can do it. Ugh, thanks, Douglas. It's time to go. I'll cut the communications in five seconds and get out of here. Good luck, Zero. Good luck, Zero. Seven seconds to impact. Five, four, three, two. It crashed into the, the colony. Destruction of the colony is... 86%. It'll be gone within 10 minutes. We've succeeded in destroying the colony. Zero, can you read me? Zero! Zero, can you read me? I... I feel zero. g g, -g this is Zero. Do you hear me? I managed to survive. We've got a response from Zero. Zero, are you alright? It was challenging, but I'm okay. Everything's fine. I think I, can, I think I can make it back to Earth. We'll get you from wherever you fall. Until then, try to get some rest. It won't be easy, though. Well, that was easy. After a few hours. We found Zero. He's safe. But he's very exhausted. We'll return to base now. Wait, what's this reading? Oh, this again. This is the exact at least the same reading. Should we call this the Zero Virus? The scraps of the colony and the Sigma Virus are colliding together. I wonder if it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's the same thing that happened before. A new virus? Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah, this is actually the exact same dialogue, even. But yeah, with that, we've now completed all four state, all uh, eight Maverick stages, and now we finally have access to the final area at the intended time. But first, as with every Mega Man X game, time for some item collection. All of which with zero. But first off, this is the Gaia armor. This thing only, ha this thing is actually very powerful. It only has two charged states, uncharged and fully charged. And it's fully charged out does a lot of damage. However, its mobility is kind of crap because you don't have access to special weapons or your dash. However, you can walk on spikes and cling on walls. So it has uses, I suppose. It's also a good way to get that heart tank. You can also use the falcon armor to get that, though. In fact, later on in his Glow stage, once again, there's that X tank I mentioned we could get earlier. So now let's use the ground fire. And get it. 
after that, the next one is... Uh, back in Axel the Red stage. These are those blue... These blocks can only be destroyed by the guy armor if you haven't figured it out by now, but you can either dash into them to move them, which you're going to need to do for some minor puzzle solving, actually, or destroy them with the buster. You can also dash into them to destroy enemies. Mind you, these blocks only appear in two stages, so there is really not much point to the Gaia armor at all. Though I like the idea of having two armors. That's pretty cool. X6 and 8 will bring this back. Though, honestly, X8 does it the best because... The reason that they don't allow you to use uh, the armor pieces until you have all four of a set is so you don't mix and match them. Because that could actually lead to quite the nightmare, I can imagine, with this kind of programming state. But in X8, they actually do allow you to combine the armors, and honestly, it makes for a much more enjoyable experience. experience. Plus, it helps that in X6, both of the armors are actually really good. Same with X8. And this one is clearly better than the other by every definition, really. Either way, do all that, do that little block puzzle, dash, jump up there, and you get the heart tank for the stage, and now we're back at that hole. Next up, back in Grizzly Slash's stage, by the way, you noticing that we're getting a lot of these with X? That's because this game really wants X to have a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of them can only be reached by X, so that's kind of unfair in my eyes, because it really unbalances it, but oh well. By the way, I should mention, uh, there is a bad scenario for what happens with the shuttle. It, it can fail, and the colony will crash into Earth. You're not going to see that here t today. You'll see that later on, because I, I am going to show off the bad ending stuff in the uh, ex in an extra video. But I had to re-record. Well, actually, no. Technically speaking, I saved Scummed and did a separate save state after the shuttle failed. But you'll see that in, like, two three days. Actually, no. I'll probably be uploading the same day as the finale. Either way, with that, we're finally ready for the final area. I don't think this place actually has a name, either. I've always called... I've heard it called Area Zero. Or... Area Sigma, it's weird. Either way, prepare the X, the fourth armor as best you want because it's honestly the best armor to use in the final area. Gotta say though, don't like this track too much. But hey, an extra life right off the bat. Actually, now that I look at it, this. Something about the stage design seems familiar. I don't know why. Huh. Oh, that's why it's Quick Man! Prepare for a lot of that. The final area of X5 is a big, big tribute to Mega Man games of the past. Mega Man Classic, Mega Man X, everything to this point is in here. And honestly, I feel like, it, like Mega Man 10, if this was given a bit more development time in writing, this probably would have been the bridge game between Classic and X. It's the closest we have so far, and I gotta say, it's really interesting to see. Obviously, not Flash Stopper helps quite a bit against this not Quick Man stage. The lasers are still instant kill, so watch out for that. But honestly, it's not too bad. There are the, the only the, the laser that actually killed me is usually the only one that actually can kill me, because a lot of these are pretty predictable as to how they move about. Either way, time for the boss. They are weak against uh, Tri Thunder, so get that out. And there's a specific reason they're weak against Tri Thunder. Alright, what we got in here? Is that the Dr. Wily single in the background? And hey, Mega Man 1 boss music! Cool, that's... Go oh. No! No! Not again! I thought I left you in classic! Boss of Area 01, or whatever this place is called, is the Shadow Devil. This thing sucks. But it's weak against not Electric Beam, so there's the reference. This guy likes to... Well, first off, what makes this guy harder than most of the other devils, because to me, this is the hardest devil in the series, is that you don't have as much space to maneuver around him. When he's doing this, see that green outline of him? That damages you. There's that in the fact, I think his pieces move a bit more fat, a bit more quickly. In terms of attacks, he doesn't actually have that many, though. He has his usual movement attack when, he's eye, when his eye forms. He'll fire two shots at you, usually. But you can get two shots on it, so it's pretty fair. Uh, when it's doing its usual reform attack, uh, it can actually stop halfway through and start trading pieces between the two sides in order to trap you. And beyond that, that's actually all the attacks it has until its second phase, which it usually doesn't get to until about a third of its health. Though I'm, I, will, I won't lie though, I did actually kind of scream when I first saw him because I was frightened. Why? I have nightmares of the Yellow Devil on a weekly basis. Don't feel ashamed for having to use a uh, 
what's it called? Um, e tank, sub tank in this boss fight, because this can actually drain your health pretty well. Especially if you've noticed, uh, the boss healths have started getting really ridiculous. It's only gonna get worse next part. But honestly, we've faced worse devils, uh, either the, well, hmm, arguable, honestly. I think this is the hardest devil in terms of his attack pattern, but in terms of the actual fight, we've honestly faced harder now that I think about it. The yellow devil from Mega Man 1 is a harder fight, just that this guy's attack pattern is a lot harder to maneuver around, if, you, if that makes sense. But thankfully, it is the last real devil in the series, because the rainbow devils in the Zero series are not that hard at all. Uh, I won't even count that thing I'm thinking of in ZX1 as a... Uh, Devil. So honestly, it's the last hard devil. And yeah, right, that's about it, really. Just keep your elect beams, uh, your not elect beams going, and the, the shadow devil will go down with enough time. Though things start getting a bit interesting once in its last third or fourth of its health, as we'll see momentarily. After it does one more reformation around this part, of, uh, around this point of health, he can do it a bit earlier or a bit later even. He changes his form again into Wily Machine Six from Mega Man Six. This thing is very simple to beat because he'll do a jump, show his eye, do a jump, show his eye. That's about it. When he first forms into it, he'll go across the entire room. But honestly, you should not lose at this point because this point is very easy. But hey, it's a reference to Mega Man Six, and I'll take as many of those as I can get. I think this, actually, now that I think about it, this area might actually just be Eurasia. Uh, huh, I don't know, honestly. There's a lot, at this, at this point, the story kind of gets a bit weird, as we'll see. But, eh, either way. With that, I'm going to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part six, we'll be continuing on to the final area and seeing what else is going on around here. See you guys then.